I was telling this Miss Ward, I am in the middle of planning my day for tomorrow. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people are reaching out to me and um, about a month ago I was making it really clear that I was not going to be accessible and that you guys may see a little less of me because I'm in the process of prepping for 2021. When you're a real serious business owner and you really are monitoring your key performance indicator, there's and putting processes in place and not talking about it and being about it, you really don't have time. You know, I used to be able to do my videos because I would do them early morning, uh, before my runs or during the day. But the reality is things have ramped up so much in my business that I cannot afford not to pay attention to every detail. Um, Plus, not to mention the fact that I have added additional technical training because of the additional contracts I have with high-end manufacturers. I can't be in a situation where I'm guessing. I have to be able to make decisions right then, right there, diagnose properly, and provide the support that my team needs. With all that said, this is called Next Level, right? And... Um, you know, I have a couple of mentees that I help here and there. But one thing that I really want people to pay attention to, a lot of people are doing a lot of talking, but they're not producing results. And I think it is imperative for you to be clear about your path, about your journey, about what you want and what you need for your business to grow. You know, I'm at a point now, if you're not bringing anything to the table or you're not enhancing what's going on with me, then I can't enhance what's going on with you. These are facts. And it's not trying to be rude. This is reality. You know, I have a lot of people that reach out to me and they wonder why. Like, I belong to certain groups and I'll post something in the group and it's like crickets. Like, nobody can help me with this. No one can assist with that which means that they're in a different place, and I respect that. But my goal is a certain goal. In order for me to get there in a certain amount of time, I have to focus on certain appliances, certain manufacturers, and certain jobs. That was my strategic approach. So I want to tell everybody out here, whatever your goals are, stay focused on them. You know? Stay, stay focused on those. Because at the end of the day, everybody ain't meant to be your friend. Everybody's not meant to be on your team because in their mind, they're going to always question your moves. And then when you're successful, they want to act like they know you. When the whole while, they provided no support. So I want to send some shout outs to people who really support me, who actually bring something to the table. Shout out to Brandon. Uh, always got me. If I call, he's got a technical response to support. Uh, Rick, thank you so much for your help and your technical training, the hands-on I'm getting from you and opening that door for me. I'm greatly appreciated. Q from Empire uh, Appliance Repair from day one, Q has really had my back. And that's facts. He's always been there. You know, we do jobs together and I can trust him. He has the same customer service uh, that I provide and, you know, just I couldn't be where I am without him. You know, a lot of other people, they really just trying to bleed information off my brain, trying to see what I'm doing, trying to steal game. And, you know, when I'm giving game, people don't understand. You need to take what I'm giving and work it because I'm simply trying to share my process. And it may not work for you. But at the end of the day, if you're not bringing nothing to the table, don't bother me. Shout out to Mr. Sneed. I got my start with Appliance Boot Camp. I'm never going to take credit from that. Um definitely support system. Shout out to Darian for helping me uh, with my Google uh, situations and any questions. Thanks. Shout out to Slick. But I don't think people really understand that the landscape is changing in appliance repair. And all these people working on certain products, those products are becoming disposable. You better get your game right. Not to mention, you have entire companies just focused on the low-hanging fruit skimming theirs off the top, you know, lead generation. You know, they'll find a lead, send you out, and they'll make that $20 or whatever they're going to make. Like, this is big business now. 
appliance repair is no longer a secret. And if you're going to survive and, and be viable in the future, you better make those technological moves. And a lot of people haven't. You know, I had a conversation with someone and they were like, you got to get them run young and train them young. And it's sad, but it's true because at the end of the day, you know, you try to work with people who are older, set in their ways, and they think they know and they have no idea. That's why I have no problem with sitting down at the feet of somebody with 25 trucks all across the state of Florida that's willing to teach me. So, no, I don't have nothing to say. I don't have anything to say until I learn what I feel I need to learn. But see, I'm mature enough to step back and adjust accordingly. And I think that a lot of people don't understand the importance of constantly reevaluating and having staples in place. Like right now, it's 11.44, midnight. And I'm up here going through some processes, some things that I had challenges with during the day uh, and during the week, and putting things in place so I don't have those challenges again. And, you know, that goes business all the way around, from prepping for taxes, to structure, to communication, seamless communication with customers, to merging your COD customers and your warranty customers, and then your lead generation customers. Like, let me tell you something. When you really get in it and you are getting uh, leads from different places, and you're trying to structure in such a way that everybody is served. Like me, I am very partial to my COD customers. But I'm not going to throw warranty customers under the bus. I want to treat them the same way, but everything has a place. And then you got to figure out. See, when you really get into the business, you understand, okay, the name of the game is one-stop completion. But you got to make sure it's the right kind of one-stop completion. When you're dealing with warranty, there's a certain charge you get for diagnostics. There's a certain charge you get for the repair. You have major and minor. With me, I supply the parts because I want my 20% markup. I don't advise everybody to do that. You know, Mrs. Sneed's blueprint is great for those of you guys that are trying to get your money up and get this together because then that gives you the ability to stack what we call the labor, which is pure profit. But you still got to manage all of that. And you got to have a... Uh, running tab as I like to say. Like I have my warranty work which is I consider that my cushion that goes in one account and then I have um, you know my COD and when you're running both of these at the same time it's no joke. Like right now I got about 30 jobs and I gotta sit here and figure out how I'm gonna make sure everybody gets served at the same level the same way one stop completion as much as I can. That's big time. Now, when I'm dealing with my high end customers like uh, Mila and Sub Zero, Thermador, a lot of those parts have to be ordered. So, one stop is not going to happen in those cases, in most of the cases. And then you choose and select what you work on for profit. Like, this is like. I can't even explain, you know, like Brandon's always teasing me because me, he's like, you're not scared to work on that. No, I'm not scared to work on anything. I'm going to work on um, the things that other people don't want to work on, and I'm going to do good, be good at it, period. Like right now, I have a customer that needs a microwave installed. And being female, you know, my thing is I always want to have the proper tools so I don't have to be dependent on a second person to come and help me lift it and put it in and things of that nature. And luckily I have the adjustable um, all dolly, the one that actually raises all the way up. That's one option. But I really have been looking for a portable hydraulic lift that I can simply sit on a... Um, a board underneath the microwave, very similar to like a car jack, and uh, stabilize it that way as we remove and replace. And at the end of the day, most people don't understand everything comes to strategy. I don't care how simple the job is. I have a customer that is removing a, a Mila microwave and then they're, repl they're upgrading that. I had a customer today with a uh, speed of an issue. And at the end of the day, you got to be here to win. And if you're not here to win, I, like I said, I don't understand how people are going to survive in the future working on, you know, these appliances that are going away. 
I really don't. So I plan on being in front of that curb. I'll be able to work on them, but I definitely will know how to work on the others. And everybody under me will be able to do the same. And that's my plan. And then there are niche markets within niche markets. And that's just my whole goal. You know, like Q and I got a job next week on a boat. So, I mean, my name is really getting around in the marina circle, so I'm doing a lot of those. But, you know, it is what it is. If I sat down and talked to everybody else, they'd be like, oh, I've never done that. Or why do you do that? And, you know, I just stopped talking to people because their minds are so small and their dreams are even smaller. And I can't think like that. It's not like I'm dreaming big, not in my opinion. I'm just doing what I know. And I'm following the plan. But with that said, I just want to shout out to everybody and I appreciate your support. Um, but like I said, you need to make sure you get in rooms where you can learn something. The people I deal with are all people that can teach me something. And I'm humble enough to be teachable. That's a lot of people that's not. And if you're talking to people who aren't successful and who can't show you the numbers and who can't do this and can't do that, why are you talking to them? Like, why are you even breathing in that direction? Because I'm telling you, it's a, it's long, success is lonely as hell. You know, because the, the air is, is a little different up here. And you got to be ready for that. You got to be able to meet the movers and shakers who are really making moves. And I'm not talking about today moves. I'm talking about tomorrow moves. In every part of the country, somebody is getting it done. You need to get your peace, but you need to do it your way. And you need to keep stuff close to your chest. You know, I went and helped a lot of people. A lot of people say I inspired them. And, I, you know, I feel honored. But I'm just a vessel. It's not about me. But at this particular stage, as I stated early on, that I am... Uh, Definitely moving in a different direction, moving in a different circle with a different caliber of people. Because if you don't have the technical, I don't care what anybody says. You know, people want to sit here and talk about they can write, they can subcontract, and you can do that. That's fine. There's a time and a place for that because I do it. Um, but as far as running these businesses and not knowing technical, and not tech, I mean, technical to the to the base that you basis basics that you need to know so you're not taking advantage of you better understand you can get frustrated with these appliances all day long but if you don't understand the theory like Brandon says and how they work if you're not in that Eric Clenart book doing what you need to do and really understanding the processes you know I went in a group and asked for what was it some uh, service manual they couldn't find it for me. I found it for myself, you know. And a lot of times I can find things on my own. I just check other people because I'm very, extremely independent, sometimes too independent, you know. But at the end of the day, I know I'm not going to let me down. And that's the rule of life, man. Everybody said they got your back. They ain't got you. Most people sitting back spectating, waiting on you to fall. And then when you don't fall, then they want to take credit for you winning. And they had nothing to do with it. But anyway... Rolling in 2021 my way. Unstoppable. But one thing I've learned in 2020, keep your mouth shut. Because everybody is not your friend. And a lot of people just want to be around you to eat. They want to pick up the scraps. They want to be affiliated, but they don't want to help you get them. It's crazy, but it's true. But I'm going to sign off. Y'all be good. And remember, solid steppers. You see I'm still stepping? I'm just stepping in a little differently. I suggest you do the same. Because this game ain't got real. Be blessed. Enjoy your weekend.